In today's video featuring Square Enix, we're going to check out the good, the bad, the ugly, the goddamn bizarre, and the wholly disappointing. So in today's video, we're going to dig in to quite a disappointing topic for myself personally, but why I kind of give up on Square Enix. Like I give a shit. <laughs> Now I'm kind of a one where I don't tend to really do rant videos as such, but sometimes it's nice to be able to raise an important topic, get it off your chest and just deliver that out for a discussion. First of all, I mean, I do love Square Enix, but so much has gone on for me over the last few months, which is just grinding those gears bit by bit and it's got me to this point where it's like enough is enough. So when I talk about Square Enix, I mean like a lot of people out there, I'm a big lover of Final Fantasy, especially the retro Final Fantasy games. Although there's a lot of their other games that I have actually never played. So I mean I'm a big Final Fantasy fan, but some of the recent stuff that Square Enix are doing, some of the things they're working on, some of the decisions that they've made have just really got to a point where it's like no. So let's tackle the main things that are really annoying me recently and I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what you think too. Are these things that annoy you? Actually do you think that as a business Square Enix are right and they're making some of the right decisions? Let me know. So first of all is the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, like many of us, we've waited for so long for this game, and actually, really, I do love it, and I think the remake was fantastic. It played fantastically on PS4. But then I knew the trouble was gonna start when it all comes to future releases, updates, and further installments. And here we have it straight away, so as soon as PS5 is now an option, they're wanting to get people over onto the new version. And what do we know? The Yuffie DLC, is PS5 exclusive. Now Square Enix know that you've got a massive fan base that bought part one on the PS4, so why screw us over apart from making money, trying to get us to go to the new version, because that's where you're wanting us to be, you're wanting to sell more physicals, you know a lot of us will put our lovely hands into our small wallets and double dip to buy that game again to boost your sale figures. So having said that, yeah, clever company move, but not at the expense of your fans that are the people that are supporting you and are buying your products because we love what you do. You know, we want to support that. Don't screw us over Square Enix because people vote with their feet and I see a lot of us doing this. So for me, it's a big one. Final Fantasy is obviously where I'm at. I'm part of your Final Fantasy fan base, Square Enix. So I'm someone that you should want to embrace and someone that you should want to continue loving your product without cutting me off. This then got me thinking of the future for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So with them promoting it heavily on PS5, this says to me that part two is probably only going to be on PS5. PS5 is going to obviously be where the future of the franchise lays, and I think the game is going to look fantastic on PS5, don't get me wrong. I haven't got a PS5 yet, but that's my problem. But there's a lot of your existing fan base who are on PS4 and would like part two to be a PS4 option also. If that doesn't happen, I understand that. However, this is where the problem comes in. So many of us have put many, many hours enjoying the game and we've upgraded the characters, we've made loads of unlocks. I want to know how this carries over. So, you know, fair play, they might well do this. They may well work it out so that it does carry over nicely and link via the PSN account. So if you played on PS4, it carries over. That is kind of an ideal scenario. I thought they might also make the game so that it doesn't continue over as such. So you could just start from part two because there'll be a lot of people that might have seen a bit of part one, they didn't get it at the time and they might have just decided to go for part two. So I'm sure they'll make it so that that is an option also. I think the need to kind of drive and boost these sales, apart from obvious wealth reasons, is probably to make up for a lot of the losses with Avengers. Now this takes me into a new direction of something else that really ground my gears. 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a Marvel fan. I, I enjoy the Avenger films and I was really looking forward to the game. I played the demo at one of the early gaming conventions where you could check that out at Eurogamer and really loved it. I was really looking forward to the game and you know, I'm not going to go into it too heavily but it was just a massive disappointment. Um, I didn't pre-order the game. Um, I've given up pre-ordering games a long time ago now. So, you know, I wait for a game to come out, check it out, decide if I'm going to buy it at full price, or maybe pick it up later on. And from what I've seen and heard, I mean, a few people have kind of enjoyed some of the gameplay, but like, nah, it's just, it's just a disappointment. Um, and I think a lot of us, especially those that picked the game up and felt a little bit burnt by it, and I know a few of you did, it's going to take a while to forget that. Balan, not so Wonderworld. Oh man, what what are you thinking? This game looks like absolute dumpster fire. It's already I see on sale for a third off by now. No. Square Enix. No. The game looks awful. What are you thinking? You had some great artists working on that game and it it just it just doesn't work. Okay, so if some of you really are enjoying this game. Let me know down in the comments. I haven't played it. I haven't played it, but it looks awful. And, you know, fair play. Sometimes you like games, sometimes you don't. But, you know, for me, Final Fantasy VII, Avengers, it, it starts to add up. And it's just something else that I thought of. Like, what are you doing? Then we go back to Final Fantasy VII and my love for it. Play Arts Kai figures. Man, did I want the Final Fantasy figures. I had multiple of them on order for hundreds of pounds. Okay, the world's had a crisis. They've been pushed back and been pushed back and been pushed back. I mean, guys, like, the, wasn't Final Fantasy Remake out like over a year ago and we still haven't got some of the version 2 figures or the new sculpted figures based on the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I canned my pre-orders guys, I decided to put that money to far better use. Then we've had a lot of news and things come out where there's like previews of some of the sculpting for the upcoming models and some of them looks horrendous. There's a guy I really love on Instagram and YouTube. He collects a load of these figures and shares out some of the news and updates. I enjoy seeing a lot of his figures and I'm always envious, so I always want some of the figures. But I gave up on my pre-orders and I don't know, maybe I might check some of them out in future if they do come out and they do look really good and maybe there's a sale on them. But I just feel burnt again, man, and it just adds more to the fact that I'm burnt out with Square Enix. I'm sure in future that Square Enix is going to continue to make some great stuff. I mean, I still haven't played Final Fantasy XV, let alone XVI. Um, I think I'm going to stick with some of the classics for now. I've got some of the remasters to check out and play. Um, you know, for me, it's not dead, guys, but I just had some things I wanted to talk about. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, as ever, feel free to hit that subscribe button and then I'll get to see you guys on a future video. Bye for now. Yes, mate.